Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning, uh, I almost said August 13th, but it is not August 13th, it is July 13th, 2020. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com and any information about courses, supporting me on Patreon, thank you Patreon supporters, all of that information is in the description box below. This coming week, it's been weird. Okay, so I have a feeling like for the most part, we'll probably just focus on the cards because a few days ago, I'm going to give it to you straight. I had this kind of vast foreboding feeling that um, another wave of something was coming. And just the way that I, just me as a reader, how I pick up on things, if it's going to make people panic to have details, they don't come in. Okay, and I know that's hard for some people. I know even like psychic readers, some people out there will kind of scoff at that and whatever. But angels are first and foremost very, very responsible beings <laughs> or how we would perceive uh, being responsible. So they uh, will never tell us something we can't handle. And apparently whatever this big thing is, we wouldn't be able to handle it. We would panic ahead of time. Now, you're probably sitting there going, well, it doesn't help us to just leave that sit there and then not give us details. What I feel is that it is this kind of uh, big shift and change that we are naturally going to be uncomfortable with because everyone is really uncomfortable. And I'm even getting the message now that the details don't matter as much. Uh, it's more of the whole world sort of collectively still uh, going ahead, still... Um, working with changes and this could also indicate that the this big kind of vast thing that i'm feeling you know there will be a collective story but there will also be changes for each individual okay so this is a lot about self-discovery this is working towards your wholeness now when we say that uh you know everyone's got to take it differently maybe that is meditating maybe that is working on your energetic field i always encourage everyone to do that anyway taking care of your body taking care of your mind, right? <laughs> Doing all of those things. Um, but yeah, they're saying there would be resistance and we wouldn't even understand it if they gave us details. Now, to be clear, this isn't just this week. It's just more of the door is opening and opening and opening. We knew that July was going to be kind of weird and rough and there are storms happening. I know I, I glanced once again at... Um, I think it was Twitter, and I guess there's a tropical storm about to hit New Jersey. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, guys, I'm thinking of you. I love you. As you know, the Angel Souls community is here for you. So, And I want to put this out there. If anybody around the world, in your region of the world, if there is something occurring, like if there's a natural disaster or you know, some sort of chaotic event or what have you, always come on in here and let us know and you know we'll back you up okay we will be here to support you uh please remember though that these videos are not a replacement for therapy if you are experiencing things like depression anxiety that needs to be addressed by a mental health care practitioner okay take your mental health very very seriously so as i'm saying this message i actually even delayed <laughs> the recording of this video because i'm like i don't feel like I've, like I've got clarity on the message and as I do, when it feels like it's time to sit down and record, I just hit the button and go, okay, guys, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, <laughs> this is what's coming up. So there's this, um, yeah, they, and they keep saying get used to change, get used to change. So this could be systematic, uh, like governmental kinds of things that have systems that have always been in place now shifting and changing. And I think the, if we want to call it an issue, is that we see what's wrong we stop it, we break it open, but we don't know how to heal it. That is why they are saying to make sure you're focusing on your own wholeness, okay? Focus on your own health because, again, when we focus on our frequency, that does contribute to the collective, okay? Now, we have been speaking for weeks now about not turning your head away and pretending like things aren't happening, okay? We have, you can't heal and we can't heal one another if we don't know what's going on, right? So we want to look at it, but we are now seeing the, this effect of people being caught in their intellect. I believe, was it last week? We were talking about polarized thinking, you know, and how that's not going to serve anybody. 
We see people going to extremes um, to fight for their beliefs and in a lot of cases and in some examples even um, that have happened recently, it's actually taking away from the message and, and people are just choosing this moment to take advantage so that they can, um, I almost feel like so that they can get away with something or so that like, okay, I gotta be careful with what I say here. Have any of you tried to contact like a customer service department and they're like, sorry, with everything that's going on, we're not gonna do our job, you know? And I, okay, so I would have bought that story back in March, April, even May, even May. But now I know that a lot of people are back to work. Okay, not everybody, don't come for me. Not everybody, but what I'm saying is, is like, even like digital platforms, you would know how to work from home. Why are you using that as an excuse to not, you know, do your work? Do you see what I'm saying? So that is the kind of thing that we have going on here where people are taking bad situations and taking advantage of them. And as I said, don't come for me. Why? Because it is so easy to go into that robotic thinking and go, oh my gosh, you're so awful. There is a, I can't say the word, going on right now. How dare you say that about people? You're so negative. You're so this, you're so that. Well, that's the point here. Okay, that's the point. We buy into it and we accept what we're being told. Part of that vastness that might uh, play out very differently for every single person has to do with waking up to a way of thinking that we've always just kind of been pulled into, okay? Where we're not just going with what we think we're supposed to say, with how we're supposed to believe, but rather, and I believe this came up last week as well, where I think we were talking about critical thinking. Correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't watch it before I sat down <laughs> and did this. But, you know, when we start balancing ourselves, we start to sort of hone our instincts. And we will be able to tell when someone is being authentic and authentically needs help and when someone's just trying to take advantage of a situation or to use, um, you know, global tragedies as an excuse to get out of something. Does that make sense? I hope I'm saying that correctly. But working on our wholeness, trying to help yourselves get back on track, not going back to normal per se, but rather finding your new normal. What is healthier now? What do we uh, now know about our fellow humans, about the world that we live in, that if you turn back now, that's an act of hatred, okay? <laughs> like that is an act of hatred if you now try, try to pretend like nothing's going on. It's not okay. There are brothers and sisters out there, fellow human beings that need our help. And get ready, guys, because, um, you know, there's going to be lots and lots and lots of things opening up. And, and I feel like it's like in Eastern Europe, okay, Eastern Europe, maybe the Middle East, okay? So, and I don't mean like, oh, you know, I gotta be careful with what I say, because anything I say, could get me a strike on my channel. So I'm not talking about huge conflict necessarily. I'm talking about realizing what some other human beings are enduring and what do, what do we do about that? What can we do to help? So we're getting shaken up here. We are breaking open. We're seeing what's there. And if we get into a mode of, oh, I'm tired. Um, I, I can't keep worrying about these things. I'm telling you guys, we, we can't be doing that. We, I mean, rest up, again, work on your own mental health, work on your emotions, work on your spirituality, but we can no longer keep turning our faces away. And yet, when we have, let's say, a spokesperson who is a celebrity who, and I'm not talking about anything current, I'm talking about, I'm just thinking of things in the past where people have come up uh, and, and they start to get um, almost like I don't, dramatic, extra poetic, just really trying to look like they're leaving a legacy and they're being put on a platform as if they are a voice for all of us while our stories still go untold. We're in a space now where we start to see that. We're, it's already happening. Actually, that thing that cannot be said, when that started coming out and the celebrity was coming out going, oh, you know, guys, oh, and they're sitting in their mansions, everybody was like, okay, give me a break. <laughs> right? So we're starting to go, no, you don't speak for me. 
I will tell my story. My story is one that only I can let people know about, okay? So, um, and in that way, that vulnerability, that authenticity, we can start seeing the true nature of one another and we start spotting our true soul families and we start coming together and then we get empowered, all right? Now, again, I fully realize that as I'm saying these things, it feels kind of general. It feels not like there, there aren't too many pieces in place. And all I can tell you is that I need to be a responsible reader. I am not going to jump to conclusions, okay, and, and scare people for something that may not happen, right? And because it's so big, it just feels like it's going to filter through everybody, as I said before, in a very, very different way. So we're going to have to leave it <laughs> like that, I guess. Let's get to the cards. I'm going to use the Magdalene Oracle. Do I have this? No, I turned it upside down. Sorry. Let's use the Magdalene Oracle and let's see if we can get something through here. So in a, in a way, it's kind of more the same and yet... You know, I, I want to say people who have resisted, you can't really do that anymore. Sorry, my hair is like tickling me <laughs> right on my chin. Um, you can't really do that anymore. And we're finding that people are scrambling to find a new way forward. And that's the best I can give you right now. Let's see what the cards say. It, I'm going to tell you right now, it has a, it does have a feeling of hanging on tight, hang on tight kind of thing. Here's a card. The real you. Oh my gosh. This goes right into that message I was saying about how we're no longer going to let um, people who maybe are celebrities or what have you get out and get on a platform to speak for us because they still are speaking through a persona. We all have a persona, but a celebrity persona is one where, you know, it's even more so crafted than like your regular everyday person, right? Um, they're really crafting what they're saying. And so this is why, okay, so two things here. We're learning, as I said, to tell our own story and to get into a place of vulnerability so that we can discover that story for ourselves first. So we know how to tell it. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. So let me put that down. <laughs> so this is also... Um, my hair's falling out. Things are happening here. Okay. <laughs> so this would be some of those personas falling. We see people for who they are. So remember when we were talking, uh, when everything started happening, I said, you know, toxicity is coming up to the surface. We're going to know who we're dealing with now. That includes yourself too. So this might be for some of us realizing, you know what? There is this thing in my life that is holding me back. And I don't know what that is, but maybe now's the time for me to see a therapist. You know, maybe, you know, you live your life putting too much pressure on yourself. You're always anxious and then you take up bad habits, you know, and you think, well, maybe I can talk to somebody about that and work through that and free myself or at least find a healthier way to cope. This, the real you card, has a lot to do with self-acceptance as well. Just accepting yourself for who you are and where you are in your life. And getting very, very real. About, there's something weird about celebrities. Celebrities falling. People saying, we don't want to hear from you anymore. Um, you're not better than us. And on an individual level, there's something there about, I'm not going to think that my life is less valid because I don't have a bunch of material things. Does that make sense? So it's embracing where we are. It's getting back to basics. It's saying, no, <laughs> I don't, you know, we all leave a legacy when we connect with another human being. That's, that's a legacy. And yet we've always been taught that unless you write a book, write some music, unless you're an actor, unless you're a politician, unless, you know, whatever, unless you are out there and everybody knows your name, then you've left no mark on this world. The real you card is saying, don't buy into that anymore, right? That's part of the big turning, that big thing that, 
you know, <laughs> it's so, there's so many parts of it that we're going to have to learn to deal with and learn to go with the flow in the changing, right? The turning the corner. There's so many parts of that. They're even saying that we would get in, in completely overwhelmed and we would miss this point right here about finding your real self and letting that part of you express and setting a boundary and even getting to a place of sort of, like I said, rejecting those ideas that we've been taught. If we knew the rest of it, we would ignore that part. I know this is a confusing message, but it is what it is. Okay. It's actually not that confusing if, <laughs> if we just kind of stick with what they're saying here. All right. Let's get some more information here. So I like that authenticity, the real you, allowing yourself to be vulnerable, but not, you know, not being vulnerable so you can manipulate people's emotions. Again, we're getting better and better at noticing where people are doing that and we're creating a different future, a completely different future. We are taking certain people out of power, okay? Certain people are going out of power and, yeah. I don't know how else to say it, guys. It's like people who are like household names. We're now going, you know what? <laughs> we'll speak for ourselves. We will uh, be in charge of our own reality. This is not going to go well for people who uh, see themselves as like too sensitive to do anything in life or I'm so fragile, I need special attention or, you know, any of those things. People who tend to be manipulative. And I know it's going to upset some people because maybe you are like kind of like a very, very sensitive person. And you do feel kind of fragile. I'm not talking about you, okay? I'm talking about people who will put that on to try to get people to pay attention to them, right? So they can feed. So I'm not talking about authentically sensitive people. I'm talking about manipulative people. So lighting up our hearts, right? Some of you, this is finding a way forward. You're figuring out uh, what you actually want out of this life. And it maybe wasn't what you ever would have imagined when you were younger, okay? Perception, ooh, there, uh, we're taking this card with this card. Holy cow, okay. So you can see that it was out of frame. I went to put the cards down and one, this one, kind of flopped out and <laughs> almost went onto the floor. So we're gonna read these together. So we have perception and we have revelation. And look at this, hot and cold hot and cold, hot and cold. So there could be a lot of uh, inner conflict this week about you, you start to see a glimmer of the truth and maybe the truth is scary. And so you, you start to kind of go, no, 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 no. And you shut down. Yes. But the revelation is there. We are waking up. This could, this is purely just me guessing. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I'm not trying to get into too many details with this one because there are too many to even go into. But there could be some big secrets coming out, guys. I Can I put it that way? I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> Self-revelations, revelations about the collective, revelations about the people who have always spoken on our behalf. And we realize, hello, our perception was always off. You wanted to be fair. You wanted to be kind to someone. And it turns out they didn't deserve your kindness. It turns out that they had everybody fooled. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to go too far. I know that's going to be alarming for some. Please, if you start to have that kind of uh, reaction to it, that's not the purpose of this. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I'm going to be writing those meditations. Okay. And, and getting those uh, recorded and posted. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this, uh, this could be like volcanoes and fires and things like that. This can be water, floods, storms, which we know there's one already in the news. <laughs> Michelle, you're not second. Listen, I know, okay? Like, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, this, just the feeling that I'm getting here is that there's a lot of sort of earth elements that are very um, aggravated right now. Very aggravated. Let's get a color card. But even with all of that, and as scary as that can sound, there is this beautiful feeling like it's that kind of thing of watching everything deconstruct but we're the one that pushed the button to activate that and as sad as it is to watch everything fall because that's you know that the old part of us right really still 
connects with that world in the way that it is. And yet we're the activators and we say, okay, go ahead, knock it down. So there's a part of us that's sad, but there's a part of us that knows that it's necessary. And there's still yet another part of us that maybe is even excited about having a fresh start. There could be a surge happening here. But you know what's weird about the thing that I cannot say? I do feel like there's a surge, but I feel like it evens out by maybe August. Maybe. So it's like quick. It's kind of like it just kind of goes like that and then it evens out. I would watch fall. I've been saying that uh, for a while as well. So we're kind of dipping in, dipping out, dipping in, dipping out. Um, learning new things every day. Souls coming and going. That's what they're saying. Souls coming and going. Um, there's more help. Mm -hmm. A lot of you will know exactly what I'm talking about, but there's lots more help here. And be talking to your spiritual teams. Okay? They're there for you. We need to talk about this because I have people who come to me and they say, I have a spirit guide and the spirit guide tells me this, 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 this. And I am still stunned that people are listening to these voices that are negative and dark and scary, that are clearly not a spirit guide. They're clearly, I don't want to put a word on it, but clearly that's not, and they're being pulled into that. And they really believe that this is a spirit guide. Spirit guides are not going to tell you to do something bad. They're not going to tell you anything bad about yourself. Okay. When they, when a spirit guide or an angel, that's the word we have for them. We call them angels and archangels. Okay. These beings, they're here to help. They come forward and we feel settled. We feel like we're coming home. Like we're suddenly absolutely filled with love and peace and harmony. We're balanced unless you're resisting it, but then it would feel very internal and you would know that it's you. But when you have something, a force, I'll call it a force, that sounds dramatic, but like a force <laughs> that comes to you and you feel a wash of sorrow, uh, anxiousness, you know, uh, un unsettled, right? And, and not feeling harmonious and feeling like I have to hurry up and figure things out, you know, a sense of urgency. That is not an angel. And what's bad, you guys know, I say this all the time. There are even practitioners in the community. I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep calling people out, but it's, it's frightening that this is happening and that people are giving into it. This, this one particular person thought that this was their guide because a practitioner told them that this was their guide. And this person was so impressionable that they believed that this was true and so listened ooh, to this creepy, creepy thing that was around them. Be careful, <laughs> okay? You will feel love, peace, support. That is your spiritual team. Like being understood to the deepest level of your existence. Okay, that's the difference. All right. Yeah, because they're saying people panic and there's a scramble to hurry up and be spiritual or be open or whatever. And so people then allow anything in. So we have Jade, take action. The number is 32, reduces to five, five is change. Um, six is more the number of destruction. So five is the revelation. We have the revelation card, the revelation of needed change which will then lead to some bit of destruction. But the destruction will be needed. We'll understand that. Some people won't. Some people won't. Some will go screaming and crying. And I've used this analogy before, like someone being in a foot of water and kicking and screaming and like really thinking they're in danger when really all they have to do is stand up and then you're fine. <laughs> right? So that's what this feels like. And very much getting in touch with our hearts and take action means take action about changing your perceptions 
you know, be teachable, be willing to say, all right, well, I never saw that before. Now I do. Uh, take action and call people out who are taking advantage of this change for their own benefit or so that they can feed off of energy, right? How many of you had a narcissist in your life who reached out to you again when a certain thing, when everything kind of shut down? I had one reach out to me and I was like, nope, (laughs) bye. We're not doing this. Oh no, I bet you are panicking right now. Your food supply has dwindled, right? So when we say take action, take action on your own energy to make sure you're in a good place. Uh, Be aware, but try not to judge. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a little odd. People are going to be acting out. And there's a lot of diminishment. So there's like, there's this feeling, I want to call it like maniacal laughter, right? So when someone says, hey, are you being careful? And they're like, (laughs) ha, ha, ha. You know, like, I don't need to be careful. I'm thinking of this example. I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and uh, on the way home, there was a lane that was closed and I'm already up in this one lane and there was a car that needed to get over. So I let that car over. This other person came flying up and almost hit my car trying to squeeze in as well. And I just looked over and I was like, nope, nope, setting boundaries. But what was interesting was this person was like, uh, mm, how do I put this? Like she wasn't human. <laughs> That's how I want to put it. Uh, and she just started like laughing and was pointing and mocking and she morphed into like, like a little creature or something. Like she was just like a little laughing, like, like a, like a cartoon character or something. Like she was acting like a cartoon character. It was bizarre. <laughs> it was really bizarre. And I was like, nope. And what was kind of funny is the person behind me saw what she had done too. Cause she almost, I mean, she almost caused an accident. And so he wasn't going to let her in either. Um, so if you're sitting there and you feel bad for that person, you're probably one of them. Okay. So curious, very, very curious. But we have that kind of thing going on where people don't want to work with other human beings. They want to conquer other human beings. They don't want there to be pleasantries. They just want to be first. They want to feel like they've won something. Even if it means putting someone God forbid, in danger or causing a bigger problem, you know, as long as they feel like they win, they're okay. In this example I'm giving, she didn't win. Okay. She had to wait for a few cars to go by and the traffic started flowing and she was speeding when it started to go again. She started speeding. She was zipping in and out of cars. And I fear that maybe she, you know, Obviously she shouldn't have been behind the wheel, but I had some concerns that maybe there was something that she had imbibed or had taken or something. And it's, it's making humans short circuit. So we are, I've said this before. I wrote this in a book a long time ago, running on fumes of fear. It's where we deny the light of our souls. We get filled up with something else. And then we're just maniacal and we're going around. And the problem with that is that it's intensifying at this point. So if you start to see this going on, don't, don't make excuses for it. Don't laugh it off yourself. Just observe, you know, set your boundaries, take care of you. And I think we all just need to hang on. (laughs) We just need to hang on and make sure we're staying in the light of our hearts and not denying any of that soul light. Okay. Cause we don't want to get filled up with that other stuff either. All right. So we are going to leave it there guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.
Remember what I said right at the beginning of, when was that? This but the, uh, the, 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 the.